Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. The heat wave that we're having right now is causing the trees to bud prematurely. It's January 2nd and the trees are budding. That's not supposed to happen until spring. And then tomorrow when it goes down to zero degrees Fahrenheit, all those buds are going to die. And the tree wasted precious resources that it was saving for spring. It wasted them now in January. So when spring comes around, it's not going to have the same resources available to it because it used a bunch of them. This is kind of what's been happening to me as well. And this is a pretty common problem with people. We often bud in the middle of winter. We bud when we're not ready. We start to blossom when the climate around us isn't ready yet. You know, it's winter. It's harsh. It's deadly. And these trees are getting prematurely excited. They're like, ooh, it's time, it's time. But it's not time yet. And even though I've got all this great positive energy coming at me, it's not time yet. I'm not ready to jump into a business partnership yet. It's still winter for me. I'm not ready to start answering 300 emails a day. I'm not ready for that. It's still winter. I'm starting to bud and it's causing problems. And that's going to steal my resources for later on. It's going to take away my psychic energy for later in the year when I am ready. When my environment, when my social climate is better and more appropriate to budding and growth when spring arrives. I'm in an emotional winter right now and I've got to be careful about budding too soon because it's going to be below zero in my life for a few months yet. And I've got to act accordingly. I've got to act like it's winter. I've got to prepare for winter. I can't go outside and expect to run in the same clothes every day. I've got to adapt. I've got to look at the thermometer and say, what's the temperature like? And then act accordingly. And I've got to look at my emotional thermometer. And even though it may be warm today, I've got to realize that it's still winter emotionally. And I'm still in a pretty harsh situation that I've got to get out of. It's just not going to magically disappear, not overnight. And if I pretend like it is, when it goes below zero emotionally, I'm going to freeze to death. So I've got to pull my buds back in. I've got to save up that energy. Be careful of your budding. Be careful of your blossoming. Let it happen slowly. Don't look at one day and say that it, they're all going to be wonderful now. Don't look at one sunny day and say they're all going to be filled with sun. Look at the averages. Look at history. Know that in Vermont, winter starts in November and ends in April. That's just a fact. That's the way it is. Although global climate change is modifying that a bit. But you have to realize that, okay, it's January. We may have a warm day, but it's still winter. And just because a lot of positive attention is coming at me, it doesn't mean that I suddenly have a community. It doesn't mean that I suddenly have new friends. It doesn't mean that I suddenly have romantic possibility. Emotionally, I'm still going through winter. So I got to be careful about blossoming and budding. I got to save those resources for spring. And when spring comes, I'll bud and I'll blossom. It'd be nice if spring came for me in April this year. That'd be great emotionally. But I can't count on it. And I've got to act accordingly until it does arrive. Okay? I'm going to the gym now. I got myself to the gym. Winter has arrived. Temperature's plummeted. It's down in the single digits. And I'm bundled up. I'm going inside. And I'm going to deal. So I got in there and I just, I didn't have it. I didn't, yeah, I looked at the weights and I just didn't feel it. I was going to turn around and walk out. So I allowed myself to renegotiate. Instead of doing the 320 pounds on the leg press, I popped on 180 and I changed my Tabata timer on my iPad so that it was 30 seconds on, 9 seconds off. Normally I do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off.
This was 39 with 180 pounds. And by the time I got through three sets of it, I was toast. It hurt a lot more than 320 would have hurt. Um, and I couldn't make it all the way through the whole eight sets. I made it through six and that was it, I failed. Uh, but I got myself in there. I actually did a harder workout than I originally intended. So sometimes by allowing yourself to renegotiate, you can talk yourself into something that's actually harder than that which you fear. When I gave my subconscious the choice of 180 pounds versus 320, it's like, dude, I'm taking the 180. What it didn't realize is the 180 was gonna be a much harder workout with the longer sets and the shorter rest. So I actually did a much harder workout than I came here to do. But my subconscious thought that it was getting off easy because it picked the lesser of two evils. So allow yourself to renegotiate but trick yourself into a renegotiation that's just as hard, if not harder, than what you originally planned to do. I'm gonna go home and do some rowing machine now, because that's my life, it's very exciting.